Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, I'm really sorry I can't walk around it today. But it, it's been windy up here sometimes before, but not, not as windy as it is now, believe me. Um, it would just blow my camera over and the doors won't stay open and nothing. But this car is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just like it's come out of the showroom. It's, it's even down the edges of the doors. It, there's no chips. It's just lovely. There's a couple of little marks on it, um, and and I mean they are tiny marks. There's there's no chips on the bonnet, uh, so to speak. It just looks like it's been um, probably just used round town. I would imagine, but but parked up most of the time. It's a lovely car. It's a Discovery 4 3 litre SD V6 HSE automatic. 2012 on a 61 plate. One owner from new. Has only done 21,773 miles at the moment. Fuel economy. Urban, 28.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 34.9 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.1 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 9.3 seconds a top speed of 112 miles per hour, out of a 255 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. So the, the interior is like, like brand new as well. Don't, don't look like it's been sat on. Um, it's just a lovely car all round and, and Bearing in mind it's um, it's 2000. It's, bearing in mind it's 10 years old. You 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 would honestly just think it's come out of the showroom. It's a lovely example. Uh, um, and a, a few weeks ago we sold a, one of the very very old discoveries with low miles on. And there were people fighting for it. There, there was people ringing up. Uh, well, one person rang up and said, "Look, you know, don't sell it to that other person. You're selling it to. We'll give you another two thousand pound more." Uh, and then somebody else rang and of course we don't work like that um <coughs> we we stood on with our original deal but um this if you look after this in future then it, it's got to be an appreciating classic i would i would say okay service history 11th of first 2016 at 3371 miles ribblesdale land rover 13th of the first 2021 at 19,643 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. So, I'll just put that away, and then we'll uh, we'll set off. It's got the usual Land Rover things, access height. Um, if you just click that like so, there we go. We're going going down. I always make the mistake of keeping my foot on the brake, and then it uh, it makes like a a funny noise moving forward but that's that's it um, that's access height and clicked it again it says suspension locked to access height if we go into the uh, menu here extra features 4x4 four four, you'll see there that's uh, showing you the access height and so on we'll just put it back up normal height selected there we go we're going back up And you, you can you can see there it's set to normal height now and uh, we can also off-road height selected so it's raising it's showing you it's going up there the, the lines are even moving as it's going up which is quite clever and also what you know what you're setting there here's your terrain response Swamp minefield, Christmas Mexico. It's just uh, if I just click across there, let's just say program selected grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl. So uh, select low range to activate rock crawl. I'm going to go back to normal. 
special programs off. So we're all back to normal there. Let's let's go before my camera's overheating. Actually, it's brightening up now. It, it may be windy, but it's it's bright. I have to say this this also drives like new. And it's amazing what the difference the tyres make. I think this one's got 19 inch um, 19 inch wheels on with 55 profile uh, Scorpion Zeros. Pirelli Scorpion Zeros. And it does make a whole lot of difference to the ride. It's a lot smoother. It's, it's actually, my uh, Range Rover Sport's got 21 inch alloys on with 45 profile and um, you can't half tell the difference because I come up here quite a lot and uh, you certainly can tell the difference and there's a real bad stretch of road here where the, the tractors have ripped it up and that's, that's going right through it and as unpleasant as that was believe me it, it's a lot nicer than uh, most other vehicles and, and other Land Rover stroke Range Rovers with 21 inch wheels on. It, uh, it has a more stately drive, I think, than the Sport. A bit more forgiving on bumpy roads. But just just a lovely vehicle as I say I'm going to cut in some uh, video of, of down the door edges because normally the vehicles this size you can't park them in a, a parking space without opening it uh, into something and catching your door edges but this I, I was looking at it yesterday and the, the sun was on it and it really really does like a, look like a new car it's, mm. it's a credit to its previous owner So we've also got, we've got power folding door mirrors there. We've got sat nav. You've got Bluetooth, turn that down, but you've got Bluetooth audio streaming, Bluetooth hands free. This particular car has also got a very uh, handy feature. That's uh, stuff sliding about in there. So you, your handy feature is, if we go to the home menu and then we click on extra features, you'll see their time climate. So you can set a timer to heat the car up in the morning before you come out to it, defrost it. But even if, you know, if that doesn't work, we've also got the heated front screen. And they really, really are a godsend. A very safe vehicle. The has a split tailgate at the back. Now I wish I there was a fancy they used a fancy word which I can't just quite remember. Um, but anyway, asymmetrical. I always press the middle there, and it's it's these bars, and I'm always <laughs> uh, it's these two bars. If we'd have just been another couple of minutes earlier, I'd have met, I'd have met that big tractor with a trailer just here. I'd been reversing all the way up the hill. Um, yeah, so asymmetrical, whatever it is anyway. The, the back tailgate, the bottom tailgate is designed like that. And uh, the reason being is at one side, it's, it's easier to load your shopping. If you just lift the back tailgate up, it's you've not got to lift as high to load your shopping. And when it's actually down, and two people, it's, well, it says two people can sit on it, but I don't, I don't know whether those two people would be me and John. We might, we might tip the Range Rover. Sorry, we might tip the Land Rover up. But also, 
it's easier for reaching in because it's further in. Having said that, this car is a seven seater as well, and the the seven seats. I mean, I'm, I'm quite tall. I, I would say, or certainly above average height. And uh, that's that's my new camera that's overheated after well, five minutes. <laughs> Electrics, you you've got to love them, aren't you? Yeah, so uh, as I say, I'm quite tall, but leaning in to put the six and seven seats up because it's it's you, you've got kind of got to do it from the back. You've got to lean in, pull the catch, and then push them and, and pull the seat up to like cantilever it. Gotta say, stuff these days. <coughs> I was going to replace all. Funnily enough, the, these DJI's. They were in the sale and they, they should be 350 quid and they were 279 quid and I was going to replace. I bought one and it seemed to be okay when, it, when I worked it and better than my GoPros. It's certainly a lot neater than GoPros, nice and small and uh, the, the attachment gone off again, look. The attachment is uh, better. And uh, I went to order another four and the sale had finished so they'd gone back up from 279 to 350 so i decided not to bother and, and well you've seen there these, these gopros are bad but that goes off even quicker it's disgraceful <laughs> and the, the the funny thing about it is there's a separate battery is it which is supposed to give you something like 180 minutes battery life but What's the point of having a battery that lasts 180 minutes when when it'll only work for 10 minutes before it overheats? Strange. But just, I mean, as I say, just look at the size of that. That battery is that big, and in five minutes, it's red hot. So you can imagine what your electric car batteries, a whole cassette under the floor. That reminds, I saw an video of an electric bus on fire as well you don't want to be anywhere near one of those things when they uh, when they go up here you've got a diesel vehicle it drives beautiful it's economical for the size and i just don't see how electric vehicles are ever going to catch on myself just ridiculous when you could have something like this that'll just last you forever. So we've also got pre-position electric memory seats. I, I, I should have done the memory seat Russian roulette when we started, but I forgot. I've changed the driver's position to mine, dead easy. You set it, you set your steering wheel, you set your mirrors, and then click memory and whatever position you want, and it saves it. The They are electric seats here but if I click that button forward, these wings here on the side of the seat, they fold in and uh, hold you in position. Actually, I'll just get around the corner because there's a car coming. And uh, we'll, we'll try the electric memory seats. You see here that uh, electrically height and reach adjustable so it's an action camera that will capture action <laughs> so long as it's less than five minutes <laughs> I don't know another 280 quid down the drain I'm just gonna pull up here Okay, you just go off road, no, absolutely no problem. So, memory position two. You see the dormer is changing, the steering wheel will change as well. Memory position three. And back to my memory position one. There we go. So this car's got a, a tow bar as well. Just 
Circle now back to Nav. Such a lovely drive. This this drives better than uh, all the four-wheel drives, I think, except for perhaps the Vogue Range Rover. But it, do, it has more of a Range Rover Vogue type drive. conditioning controls are, are down here or climate control set the temperature there your fans in the middle there you knock the air con on and off with this switch in the center just there heated seats drivers and passengers electric handbrake if I just click that down and then across that takes it into sport Makes the throttle more responsive. You've also got paddle shifts on the back of the steering wheel here. There we go. Down on the left and up on the right. The drive is absolutely perfect. The back seats fold flat, the, the six and seven seats fold flat. The middle row will fold independently of each other. Loads and loads of space. If I remember, I'll try and cut in this, uh, in, in the brochure, it just shows you the, the various days of the week, what, what a discovery is used for. And uh, gives a kind of configuration of the back seats, how you use them when you're doing different things. This uh, video is going to be a right hodgepodge I'm afraid. <laughs> but honestly, I can just, that's brand new, brand new, week old, and uh, I can just imagine if you bought a car and it, it off again, look, if you bought a car and you got five minutes up the road and it broke down and you've got to wait for it to cool down before you could do anything else, switch all your stuff off, sit there for half an hour while it cools down. And then uh, you set off again another five minutes. But yeah, electrical equipment. That, that camera over there wouldn't switch on, wouldn't connect. <laughs> this one, you've got to update the time every time you switch it on. Unbelievable. You've got this beautiful Land Rover that's uh, 10 years old, drives as good as new. The suspension is just so good on these. I suppose that the Discovery is made for, specifically made for this sort of terrain. And you just waft along, you just float along. The sport's made to look like it's for this terrain, but it's actually made for driving around town or on the motorways. Oh, we've got uh, 
the old Extinction Rebellion pheasants again. Let them get out of the way. This is a fabulous example. I'm just going to move over here because I don't think... Oh, she was a very pleasant looking young lady. It's Mr. Sandpiper there, I think it was. The other thing with these taller tyres, I think if you if you were to listen to anybody who knows about driving and he likes driving fast, then it would be the low profile tyres all the time and the, the harder suspension. I just like being comfortable and the, the, the steering, the, the giving the side walls, a little, little bit of giving the side walls, it, it just makes it smoother. Whoever buys this car, I mean, the thing is, with this low mileage, 20,000 miles, you can't actually charge, you, you can, you've got to give a fortune to get lovely cars like this, but you can't actually pass it on to the customer because these days with Auto Trader searches and so on and the, the price banners in Auto Trader, if you were to actually ask what this car is really worth in real monetary terms, it wouldn't appear in any searches or it would have a stupid high price banner on. So, um, and also, we, we had a chap come, um, he'd been looking at several vehicles and, and he wanted to know if we, in, in fact, he probably didn't buy the vehicle because we couldn't knock any money over it, off it. And he couldn't get it in, through his head that we couldn't knock any money off it. That was the price. And the reason that's the price, he, he'd been to look at several others and by his own admission, they, they weren't as nice as our car. And the reason is we're selling cars and we try and get the best examples of each model. And John manages to do it. I haven't got the patience anymore. John searches for stock to get the best ones. And we're selling cars, good examples with proper service histories, proper mileage, nice cars at the same price as other people are, are knocking garbage out. You, you know, and all right, you'll go there and they'll knock you 500 quid off. But we've already reduced our car to compete with Auto Traders banners to be competitive, but the car's actually better, so should be more. And trying to get that across to people is so difficult. It, it, you just, you know, you, you just can't do it. A lot of people want to buy a car. They don't want the best car, they want the cheapest car, or they want the most discount. And they end up getting a car with the most discount that will probably need, I mean, tires. This has got good tires all round. It's mint all round. The service history is proper. And, and it's so short-sighted of people. I, I wish I could get across to the advantages of buying from us. Um, but it's, it is, honestly, it's difficult. You, these days, we, we advertise at cash prices. Vehicles have gone up so much, we try not to pass that um, price hike onto the customers. We've squeezed our margins that way as well. And, uh, and we, I think we sell better cars than uh, most of the garages. Also, there's a there's a, a garage 
well, I, I wouldn't call them a garage, but they're called cars, spelt C-A-R-R-S-B-C. Now, I used to trade as BC Cars, and I've still got the email address, I've still got a website. Uh, this is before me and John chucked in together. And um, this firm advertises on Facebook. There's no telephone number. So it's just Cars BC on Facebook. They've got all these different cars, and there's people Googling them to find a telephone number to ring them up about these cheap cars. And of course, they come up with BC cars, so they're ringing me, and my phone is red hot. But <coughs> why would you buy a car off Facebook, off somebody that's not got an address, not got a garage, don't put the telephone number on, and you've got no means to contact them afterwards? You know, it's all done by messaging. A few weeks, a few weeks go down, what's to stop them just changing the name on Facebook and your warranty is null and void? Why would you do it? <laughs> we, we've been here for 20 years. You know, if you do that, you're a victim. You will be a victim. And you've only got yourself to blame. Go and buy a cheap car off Facebook and then, you know, in, in a few months' time when, you, when you've when you got to scrap it and go and buy a, a you know, you, you'll think you were a victim, but you weren't. You were stupid. <laughs> On that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da. GoPro, stop recording.